Good morning and welcome to day 37 of our daily bread devotional. Our memory verse for this week is found out of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. What a great verse. I encourage you, if you haven't already, make sure to memorize that because God's going to use that verse in a powerful way in your life. I truly believe that. Hey, for the next few moments, I'm joining you from the beautiful White Mountains of Arizona. And I love this time of the year, that fall season into the winter season, where change is truly in the air. The temperatures are getting cooler. The leaves and the, 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 the trees are starting to change and they're even starting to fall to the ground. And all of it is preparation for a dormant season that we know as winter. And, it, and until you have winter, you can't have the renewal and rebirthing season that we know as spring. So God and his providence of creating nature really put in this process of dying and renewing. And when you think about that process in nature, it truly is the same process that he takes us through spiritually. There is this submitting and dying, submitting to God and dying to ourselves where we truly find life in him. When I think about that process, I'm reminded of a scripture found in Romans chapter 12, verse 1, where the Apostle Paul encourages and implores the church. He says this, Therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true worship. So we are called to present ourselves as a living sacrifice to God. And I want to encourage you to do that today. And I want to give you one tip that will help you to present yourself as a living sacrifice to God. And that very simply is do what's happening here. Do what's happening in nature. The trees are letting go. They're letting go of all the leaves that they've acquired the spring season and the summer season. And they're letting go in preparation to moving into the next season. So what can you spiritually, what can you emotionally, maybe it's bitterness, maybe it's forgiveness, maybe it's a, a past issue that continues to just take you down. What do you need to let go of today to offer yourself as a living sacrifice, which is our true and pleasing worship to God. I want to encourage you with that word. God bless you.